to Psychopinion. Now your hosts, Jake, Rob, Steve, Jen, and sometimes Liza. And sometimes Sean. I did that because the intro says, and sometimes Liza, and Sean's been on it twice now, so I figured I'd include him. I don't sound exactly <laughs> like the guy, but, you know. Um, so before we get started today, I definitely want to take a second here, and I know you guys usually have some kind of uh, alcoholic beverage, and I wanted to go ahead and make a toast tonight. Um, in my opinion, we lost a very important man today, and that's Donald uh, Sutherland, and I just wanted oh. to go ahead and have... Uh, shot for Donald Sutherland. He's actually been in quite a few horror movies. Some to name are Castle of the Living Dead, Fanatic, The Terrace House of Horrors, mm-hmm. Shuttered Room, Don't Look Now, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Of course, everybody loves Bucket the Vampire Slayer, Fallen, Virus, and American Haunting, but Fallen Alone. Those are to name some of the movies that he's been in. Um, but anybody that's, I mean, besides that, he's just a phenomenal actor. He's been in a lot of things, and I just wanted to take a second to Donald Sutherland, if you guys don't mind. Yeah. So, big loss, big loss. But uh, I think he lived a very, you know, good life. The guy was fucking great. Yeah, indeed. So, in the words <clears throat> of FDR, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Fear. Mm-hmm. Phobias. From the Greek word, phobos. Phobos? Yeah, we'll go with Phobos. I don't know if that's pronounced right or not, if it's Greek, but that's where the Sounds fuck it came from. Yeah. So there's some fucking weird phobias. There's some really strange phobias we don't normally think about down to like the ordinary ones. Now, phobias, I think, cause anxiety, maybe even somebody to freeze up, things like that. Um, I was thinking about this a lot today for myself, and I don't really, I'm not really afraid of a lot of things. I don't really have a lot of phobias, I don't think, except for like, normal shit people have like uh you know fear of the unknown which i don't know so i don't think about much so that doesn't really bother me um and then you know fucking um yeah i i I don't know i think i'm more afraid of like fucking taxes going up and groceries going (laughs) higher than i am anything else that's probably my phobia is probably getting more fucking hosed by the government prices um but there's people out there with legitimate fears, so let's put my shit aside and talk about that. Um, <clears throat> so um, I don't know how you guys want to go about this. You want to talk about a couple of your fears? You want me to throw some crazy shit out there that you may not know? Because I definitely have some notes on this one. But maybe we should start with ours, because I, I like I like how you did that just now. That was that was kind of dope. What do y'all think? Sure. I yeah. mean, sure. Do you, baby? Do you, baby girl? Do you? <laughs> I was talking to Sean. Uh, not- yeah, yeah, easy work. Um, I, I, I kind of agree with you there. I don't have a lot of stuff that I'm afraid of. There was once a time I was like, I think once you, once you absolved yourself of, I guess, bowing at the altar of other people's opinions, all of a sudden a lot of things change. When you stop, like earlier when we were talking earlier, uh, we had mentioned about there were things that we just didn't do because we were afraid of how people would view us. And then after a while, you get old and you're like, fuck it. You're going to think what you want anyway. Right. So I don't have much that I fear. I feel like being incapacitated or it is one of my biggest ones. I've always said to myself, like, if I got to a point where my health declined so much that, like, I couldn't move, just fucking. I'm good. I don't need to spend the rest of my life, you know. I, I don't know how the people do it, but I just can't imagine not being able to do stuff. Um, yeah. and then, I mean, I think no one wants to be a vegetable, right? Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, I, like the amount of strength that people have to do that afterwards, like after a freak accident or something is unreal to me. I think that's amazing. And the other one was, I, I, I might not appear to, I don't know if I do, but I've got wide shoulders and I don't know if y'all have ever seen uh, perfect movies like the descent or the cave where oh, they're yeah. in tight spaces, yeah. oh, movies yeah. like that fuck with me especially for a guy who spent 10 years in the navy like i don't there's something about i'm somewhere where nobody's ever gonna find me and my shoulders get stuck Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what it is about that. That shit fucks with me. I'd be like, I don't, I don't want no parts of that. Like, oh, you got to crawl through this hole. The fuck I am. No, I'm not. Mm-mm. I will just get mauled. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> Oh, that's me. Because I can just imagine, like, you're running from some beast or something like that. You get stuck in a hole, and then you can't get out. And then it just ends up in the back half of you. Like, uh, nah, let me square up. That's, that's mine. Makes me think of Winnie the Pooh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. And then get stuck somewhere, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, just wanted to. He didn't seem to mind. Yeah, as long as he got his honey. Yeah. Maybe that's what you need, is you need some honey in that hole. <laughs> in the hole would definitely make it a lot better, I assume. I I don't know if I have a fear of that because I don't fucking spelunk and I don't go into holes. But I mean, I think if I was in that situation, I'd freak the fuck out a little bit. But hell yes, it's not, it's not something that I actively would be like, I'm scared of that. But I guess like being in the middle of the ocean with no boat and nobody around, that probably like be really shitty when it happened to you but it's not something i think about it's not something i'm like oh my god i hope that never fucking happens i just don't do that like well like the the what was the what was the one that the where where they went to go check out the titanic and the little thing uh the submerge oh geez what is the, it the oh, submersible like the submersible yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. you're talking about the guys that died in that fucking explosion the rich guys yeah yeah that, that was fucking stupid well, it was Come on, bro. the reverse of an explosion. <laughs> Implosion. Like, ooh, implosion. Yeah. Uh. Uh-uh. I couldn't. Nope. So you want us to get in this tin can and go down where? Like. Mm. <laughs> I heard another uh, well, another billionaire is planning on going down there again. Of course they are, because they got money in it, and they they yeah. have then nothing else to do. Except for die in <laughs> stupid fucking ways. Right. And not have a will. Appropriate enough to give any of us some money. I don't understand it. <laughs> yeah, for real. Leave me some money. Fuck. Nothing. Shit. So, uh, when you guys want to go, Jen, do you have any irrational fears? Oh my god, I kind of have a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. Fuck. Um, I have always been kind of full of anxiety. <laughs> um, and my mother is literally scared Damn. of like everything. Um, so by default, you know, just from living with her and experiencing you know her fears through her um i have gained some of those fears but not all of them okay um so she is afraid of pretty much everything especially (laughs) planes she will never go on a plane ever um when i lived um a far away when i lived in arizona a long time ago um she went ahead and told me like flat out i'm never going to visit you even if you get like pregnant or whatever, I, I cannot visit you because I cannot go by plane. I will have to go by car, if anything. Um, <laughs> oh, well, she can still visit you. It just had to be like on a bus. Right. Yeah. She's like Steve. Who is it? Steve Madden, <laughs> the one that always has a bus. He doesn't fly planes either. Yeah. I was gonna say, don't let her ride with Steve. <laughs> right. Um. Anyway. So yeah. So like I was saying, <laughs> I have acquired some of her fears. Um. And. It is not planes, though. I'm actually cool with planes. Um, I was on a plane for um, going to Arizona, and I actually really loved it, oddly enough. Um, so I guess I took after my father because he loved planes. Um, but anyway, uh, planes but is not one But are you afraid of, of snakes on a plane? No, I'm actually not afraid of snakes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually kind of like snakes. Yeah. yeah um, as long as... I mean, if if I knew that one was poisonous and it was near me, then yeah, I, I would probably be a little afraid because it's poisonous and it's near me, um, which I don't think is irrational. Um, well, that, but when I would, see them, like I don't freak out. I'll hold one. Blah blah blah. All the. All that, that reminds me of a conversation I had recently with somebody where we were talking about that. We were talking about spiders and snakes, and they were like, "You're not afraid of spiders and snakes?" That's how they sound. And I was like, "No, I'm I'm not. I'm not afraid of spiders and snakes." And they're like, yeah. "Well." What if you were like there and like the snake like fucking bit you? And I was like, look, there's a big difference between being afraid of spiders and snakes and not wanting to get bit by a poisonous right. fucking snake. Right. Exactly. I mean, like, no, I don't want to get fucking attacked <laughs> by a lion, but I'm not afraid of a lion. I mean, like, yeah, that's there's there's a big difference between like a phobia and stupidity. Yeah. Right? I'm I'm I'm, I'm yeah. just saying, like, even though you right. do see some of those people out there fucking with the snakes, the religious shit. <laughs> Oh my god, how evil the snake is. The snake wasn't bothering you, he just wants to be left alone. I mean, <laughs> yeah. if I had medical attention like right next to me, I don't even think I'd really be that afraid of getting bit, quite honestly. It's mm-hmm. just like 
I mean, but nobody wants to be bit by shit. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Anyway, you know, I, if, I, if I see a, a oh, spider okay. or a daddy long legs or something like that, and it's not fucking with me, and I'm not fucking him, I just let him. I like, yeah, I. Uh, you, the I think the the statistic is you're always like six feet away from a spider. There's mm-hmm. always a spider around. You just don't know it. So I let spiders go, as long yeah. as it's not fucking with me. I don't care. Yeah, but also that I'm statistic cool with that spiders. In your lifetime, you eat something like sixty of them or some shit, like mostly while you're <laughs> asleep. Like in your mouth. Yeah. yeah. That's a fun thought. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, like, it's a fact. <laughs> I don't know. I've been asleep and felt something on my face and just woke up crunching a, a giant spider. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? I guess it's just a lot of times. I was going to say that's your beard. I about it at one time during tarantula seizure. <laughs> They're probably trying to nest in that fucking beard. Like, probably like, let me get warm. I keep, look, I keep that for there. I mean, I'm just saying, that's where the snacks well, are. There are ways to go to catch up, but keep it growing. <laughs> that's where the nice. snacks are. Uh, spider snacks. Spider snacks. <laughs> anyway, Jen, you were saying? Oh, I mean, I have a long list. Are you sure you want to go? Well, um, well I'm, I'm well, vested um, now. Well, first, uh, <laughs> fear of flying is aerophobia. I have that right in front of me, so I'll just I'll add that. Go ahead. Uh, well, your mom, your mom, your mom. My mom is afraid of pretty much everything. She's aerophobic. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so this is not really a fear, but I really, really, really don't like them. I hate roaches. I hate them. Nobody I think they're roaches. disgusting. I want to kill them every time I see them, like immediately. Yeah, I want to just grind nice. them up. Yeah. You so with the spider, up. with the spider, I'm like, you're good. You're cool. You're probably going to eat like some bugs I might not like. You're going to line them up and kill them. That's like some fucking like conqueror shit. Like that's like... <laughs> Like you're like the fucking Hitler of roaches. Like, all right, everybody line up. <laughs> yeah. Because roaches um, are rude. Like, you ever try to like a, a roach yeah. won't just leave. A spider will be like, don't fuck with me. And you'd be like, all right, cool. I'm not fucking with you. Yeah. You're not fucking with me. A roach will be like, what's up? And they'll like come yeah. at you. And you'd be yeah. like, yo, it is. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. You. Is roaches this your there? living space? Yeah. I see right. our living space. Uh-huh. Thank you. No, That's roach. what I'm saying. No. And this, no, is gonna sound, no, this is going to sound really weird, but I have gotten bit by a roach before. That's why I hate them really? so much. Yes. Really? When I was really young, um, one was inside in, in my bed, um, and I woke up with it biting me. I saw its little incisor or whatever it's called things, wow. mandibles or whatever there are. Um, and they were, and it was actually like biting my arm. Like I saw it do it. What um, the and. Yeah, and I freaked out, of course, and then ever since then, I've hated them, like, with passion. I don't know if that really counts as a phobia, though, because it's not like I'm so afraid of them that I can't go near them. I just really get icked out by them. So, is, so I got, that, that brings up a very interesting question. Uh, Jake, does that mean a phobia is something like you're born with, or can you have an induced phobia based on trauma? I would say that mm-hmm. most phobias are probably a product of your environment. Yeah. I would say, quite honestly. Okay. Um, well, like, but like for instance, in her mother's case, what would cause aerophobia? Like, I would think her that is based on oh. <laughs> just being know. afraid. And quite then there's some. Mother, quite honestly, well, her mother could just be a giant pussy. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> she's never told me, Straight like, to flat the point. out. <laughs> yeah, she's never told me why exactly, but I do know that when she was young, they had to go to the Philippines because they were a military um, family. Um, and then she had to fly to the Philippines. I think that flight was pretty bad turbulence. Um, and, and scared her. Do it. Um, yeah. yeah. And I didn't experience any turbulence on the flights that I've been on. So that's probably why I was like, man, this is awesome. Like, I actually thought it was cool as shit. Um, <laughs> but uh, and then there's also the fact that my mom, like, she reads something and automatically, like, she becomes obsessive and, like, kind of uh, uh, afraid gotta, of things because she you reads, keep like, her off the internet. stuff about, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is already a problem right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, uh, but I read it yeah. on WebMD. Yeah. It's got to oh be true. <laughs> That's something that I was going to talk about in a minute. <laughs> so right. My mom. My mom is like super hypochondriac and I am also a little bit of a hypochondriac. I have unfortunately gained some of that phobia from her. 
Um, mine's not quite as bad as hers because she can get a little too obsessive. I can stop mine at a point. Um, and neither one of us like to go to the doctor. Like neither one of us will go to the doctor like ever. We have to be like dying. Um, I she almost, it's what? I, I atrophobia is a fear of doctors. Oh, uh, yeah. I, well, I atrophobia? I, I atrophobia. I I really don't like the dentist either. <laughs> um, so doctor. That That's a tooth doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no sacrophobia is fear of hospitals. When I was growing up, um, we I never ha I never got to go to the doctor. I did go to the dentist, but only with my grandparents. They took me. Um, I never went to the doctor almost at all because of my mom and she and her fear and she didn't she she says that she'd rather not know what was wrong with her but yet she'll read like webmd like constantly and be like i have mm. that i have this <laughs> it's always fucking cancer yeah always fucking cancer always <laughs> i i had to dig it up because it was it was bugging me it apparently cockroaches do bite people but it's rare yeah. because they, their mouth parts are not strong enough to pierce human skin yeah yeah i didn't yeah, get like just, punctured they just, just really... they just do it out of irritation. They just do it to piss you off, essentially. You must have really it pissed it piss off. off. <laughs> By sleeping? I, it was just sleeping. I saw hey, is this your bed? I think <laughs> this is ours. I was saying, yeah. if I was sleeping in your bed, I think it would irritate you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was in my most vulnerable spot. You know what I mean? Like, that's a vulnerable spot. You know, when you're sleeping and you're in bed, you're vulnerable. And it intruded that and... I've hated them ever since. At least you didn't I, get bit in a vulnerable spot. Uh, yeah, it was my arm. <laughs> yeah, I had so a friend of mine that a bug fell in her ear yeah. and yeah. did not crawl out, and she could oh, like hear yeah. it moving around oh, and shit. They yeah. had to go to, and, and I think her mother ended up pouring what was it, hot mineral oil down there or something like that, oh, in order to kill yeah. it and put it in there, and then had to take her to the hospital to get it pulled out. Uh, yeah, fuck she's that. been. Yeah, I've been like thinking that. about <laughs> bugs ever since that because I was like, "How does it get in your ear that much and then doesn't come out and then you can hear oh. it moving around?" No, the so moving around anyone, part, hearing it. If no. anyone has seen Star Trek: The Wrath of Khan, yeah, Star Trek: The Wrath of Khan. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> that one scene Ladies. is enough. Me so bad that that mm -hmm. is a legitimate fear of mine. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's that's actually very terrifying. To I don't me. remember that scene because I was it was what? the '80s when I saw that. I think mm -hmm. it's at the that's, very that's the very beginning of the. It might be like the first scene in all. It's honesty. like a, yeah. it's, like, it's like if Rod Stewart weird. went fucking crazy. That's what they're at they, the con. They take this <laughs> giant like it's like a ear, it's like this leech thing. It's disgusting, and they drop oh, it into his ear as a form of interrogation. Oh. Uh, and it just burrows into his brain. No, and it is. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, it's, 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 it's similar to what they did in the Matrix, but instead of putting it in his belly button, they put it in his ear. Straight, uh -oh. straight into the ears. Worse the now. Yeah, ears I would worse. take it. I would take it in the belly button every time. Uh, absolutely, yeah, every single time. <laughs> like, I'd be like, give it to you your belly know? button. Like, don't fuck my ear. <laughs> That's a hole I don't want fuck with. You don't fuck with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did see. I, I'm curious though. I did see something recently on the uh, on Facebook, and it was one of those memes. It was like, "Would you rather have in your house ghosts or roaches?" Oh, I well, you that. know my answer. Ghosts. <laughs> I think it'll be ghosts, ghosts, right? For sure. Yeah. All of I us haven't experienced have ghosts. ghosts yet. I, I've always wanted ghosts. experience. Said, I've never been bit yeah. by a ghost. So I'm okay with it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but we did discover one time that in the not was it Amityville? No, which one was it where uh, they were getting som sodomized by demons? That happened in one of the uh, the Conjuring's. They talked about being sodomized by demons. Yeah, yeah the how smell. Many, of how many roaches are we talking about though? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I mean, some people might like that, but because you know, I'm just saying, because like, yeah. if we, oh no, <laughs> step ghost. No, right, you know, not there. there. Oh, Stop. Do you remember Ghostbusters? There was a scene like that in the, um, I guess, the uncut version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where Dan Aykroyd gets uh, yeah. ple pleasured by a ghost. Pleasured by the ghost. You seem to like it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Would you Would you stop a ghost from pleasuring you? Yes. <laughs> you would? How? Yeah. How? I, how I, would you? Right. I mean. Yeah, how would you? Had, that's a good question. In other words, if I had the ability to stop a ghost, yeah, because that's not. <laughs> but, if you, but if you could. 
if I could, I would definitely stop. I'd I be like, hold on. I would let them go, and then I would treat them like an ugly girl the next day and be like, no, that didn't happen. Oh, no. That's what I would fucking do. But I the mean, difference is, it, this ugly girl, you can't turn down. She'd be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're doing this anyway. Yeah, well, you know, that's <laughs> happened. I've been there. <clears throat> anyway, Jen, did you have another fear? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I also don't like, we'll just go ahead and go with the insects. There's only two. Roaches and centipedes. Oh, I no, don't like centipedes. centipedes. Uh, not like centipedes. Cool I don't no, like human no, centipedes. Too many legs. Too many have legs. you seen human. one? Have you seen one in person? Oh, yes. Was oh. it in the bathtub when you were about to take a shower? No. Makes a big so, difference. So there are some I that I don't take like centipedes, centipedes though. Hmm? Are we including centipedes and all centipede-like? Insects? Yeah, millipedes, silverfish, um, the whole shebang. Yes, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not me, cool with silverfish either. <laughs> so so the, the whole whole gamut that looks like that. Little, <laughs> I don't think I like a whole shit ton of legs. Unless it's a roly poly. I fucking love roly polies. But that, okay. you love you're them? like head and underneath. Like you don't you don't get to yeah. see the disgusting underbelly. I used to play with them all the time when so I was you only like the cute it. shit. That you only like cute shit. Cute shit. Okay, so that's what it is. It's like save the dolphins, but you know, fuck the yes, fuck the centipedes. Yeah, fuck the centipedes. You know, okay, all right. Makes sense. Well, now the the fear crazy. The fear of centipedes is called psilopotophobia. Psilopotophobia. I like like the sound of that. Yeah. Um. Uh, Because of their size, quick movements, or appearance. Oh, that makes that makes me wonder what mine is. Fear of getting my shoulders stuck. Yeah, is there a particular word for that? I don't know. I think it'd be like fear of small places, which would be yeah, claustrophobia. Oh, uh, I yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm cool with it. Being stuck. I don't know. That's yeah. like well, a more there's, specific variation. There's, there's, there's three of them. It's claustrophobia, clethrophobia, and enoclothrophobia. Enoclophobia. Enoclophobia. Yeah. But see, these say it's, it has to be an irrational fear. I mean, it's somewhat irrational. Hey, sometimes weird, fears can sh- just be irrational to someone who doesn't have that fear. Oh, how, yeah, why you, that's true. Rob, yeah. why do you not it's like debatable. millipedes? What's up? <laughs> yeah. oh, wait, you're not so, like them or are you afraid of them? so irrational. No, I yeah. Hate. So, so like, yeah. in, in a close phobia, you have been getting stuck, lost, or harmed in a crowd. Uh, Cleothrophobia. This one's so weird. It's spelled C L E I throphobia. A fear of being trapped or locked in a space like a bathroom, a deep hole, or underground tunnel. This is me. That's that's me. That's yeah. definitely fucking me. Not <laughs> bad, a necessary bathroom. bathroom, but like a deep hole or an underground tunnel. Yeah, don't. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-hmm. The fear of being unable to escape is what's terrifying to the people with that one more than the small space itself. So, so that, and I think, cause somebody asked me that one time, they were like, but you were in the Navy, like you were always in small spaces. I was like, it's not the small space that fucks with me. It's the getting stuck part. Yeah. I don't like that. So you said <laughs> there was another one that was a fear of being stuck in a crowd. Yeah. A fear of being stuck. Uh, the, that's in a The It's the fear of being harmed. A fear of getting stuck, lost or harmed in a crowd. So like okay, a concert. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I, I get annoyed, but not necessarily yeah. fear. So I think the second one is me. I'm like kind of the opposite. I don't know. I have a lot of social anxiety. So yeah. uh, once I'm part of like a sea of people, it doesn't matter. It's just I'm mm-hmm. just one of the. Yeah, one, one of many. Endless one people. Yeah. One of <laughs> us. One of us. Like the opposite one of being of center of attention. Many. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the, the attention that. that gets me. It's yeah. not the people; it's the the focus. Right. So, what if you were in that group of people, and then all of a sudden somebody yelled, "Everybody, look at Rob!" And like <laughs> oh, they no. all turned at you at once. I'd take all my clothes off. <laughs> Should at that point you got nothing to lose? <laughs> I mean, you got nothing to lose at that point. Well, if we're yeah. staring, I'm sharing. <laughs> <laughs> And then everybody else gets naked and turns into a fucking orgy. Penises everywhere. That, oh my I mean, god. That's the plan, right? <laughs> I mean, you know. Sometimes it happens. Let's see a room full of dudes. This. Mm. It's kind of weird. Like if you were weird. like in an orgy 
and then all of a sudden, like, you're a straight man, and you're in an orgy, and all of a sudden, you just get a penis in the butt. Like, can you really be mad at anybody? Because you're kind of in an orgy, and it's not like you had a sign on you that said, I'm straight. Yes, I can be mad. Yeah, but, like, they didn't know. It's an orgy. Right. They didn't <laughs> ask either. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to do? Be like, hey, man, is this cool? Oh. Uh. I mean, you, you yes, know. I would prefer <laughs> that. Ask me. <Right. laughs> I don't think people talk a lot during orgies. Mm-hmm. I don't think, like, hey, hey, my but name. But that's usually because there's a dick in their mouth or something or <laughs> oh, some God. other object yeah. in their mouth. But I'm pretty sure they, they consented first. I'm hoping. <laughs> Is there a fear like, of Look me in the eyes first. Like, damn. I'm saying yeah. it like I've been in an orgy. I haven't. I'm just saying. <laughs> I, was, I, was, bullsh- I call it bullshit. Like you were. Don't treat me like a hole. I, I call bullshit. I think you're gonna miss orgies. Okay, hold on here. I got a fear of orgies. <laughs> is a threesome a small orgy? No, it's a threesome. I, I don't think an orgy happens until it's like maybe five. Uh, is four five. Some? Yeah, five, five. Five is an orgy. Wait, wait. So wait. So okay. then, is a gangbang just an orgy, or is a gangbang like the like it's 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 masturbation, then it's regular sex, then it's threesome, then it's gangbang, then orgy. Is like that the level, like based on the number? Well, well, well a gangbang is really, when you think about it, it's got to be like multiple or almost yeah. all one sex and then one of the other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's everyone has of, one focus, whereas an orgy, everyone's mm-hmm. just doing everything yeah. to everyone. So if like one person is mm-hmm. the focus okay. after five, I would say that's a gangbang. But. Yeah. I would say that up until then it's a foursome, and mm-hmm. if there's multiple focuses, I would say it's an orgy. But I'm looking at genophobia um, or erotophobia, which is uh, it's it's a condition that can cause intense fear or panic when sexual intimacy is attempted. So I guess that's as close as we get to my fear of orgies. I don't have a fear of orgies. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's interesting. Sexual phobias. I never even thought of that as a thing. I bet you Donald Sutherland had some orgies back in the day. He seems like the type. <laughs> Rest in peace. I, you know, I, don't, I don't think there are many stars that haven't had some type of weird something. There aren't. I think almost most celebrities who, because I think, so when it comes to, once you have the availability, like you've got money, you don't ever have to work. Imagine if all of us just did money was not a problem, that that resource was not an issue to us at all. All of a sudden, you now enter into a, a segment where anything goes, like being a vampire. I'm never going to die unless these particular things happen, which are rare. I'm super strong and I don't suffer any disease. So at that point, that's why most vampires are that's bisexual. You, well, that's when you become Batman. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Batman. Um, <laughs> Anyway, we we can talk about something else. You fucking perverts. Um, <laughs> well, are there are there, are there still any more phobias, Jen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to have a fear of people, people talking about orgies too much? Do you? <laughs> what? I'm happening. I see you don't have a fear of people talking about orgies for too long. Do you? Because oh the- no. <laughs> it's the, oh no. That's <laughs> actually not cool. <laughs> talking about orgies. <laughs> Continue with that. <laughs> um. Oh gosh, I have so many. Well, I just went to the beach recently, so that brought up one of my other fears. Um. So, I have a fear of the current of the ocean. <laughs> Getting sucked um, in, like the riptides. Yeah. Yes. Very yeah, that's much. I think it that's happened. normal. It's happened before. Yeah, I guess it's not really that irrational, but anyway. No, I got, no, I just, I got caught by it one one time, and it was scary as fuck. Like, I really yeah. did. I got caught, and I was dragged, like, super far, super fast. I didn't even realize how mm-hmm. fast. Like, I was, like, I was, like, at the fucking, you know, I was, like, what, like, 100 feet out, and then all of a sudden I, I got sucked in. I was, like, I must have gone fucking 100 yards in, like, fucking uh. 10 seconds, and I couldn't breathe. I didn't know where the fuck Ooh, I was. I popped that up. is bad. Yeah, I popped up and really bam, bad. the ocean, the the beach, it was like fucking mad for it, it was it was scary. Oh, God. It was fucking scary. <laughs> you just <laughs> swam back. And... I had to, man. What was I gonna do? Live yeah, out you there? Didn't have a choice. <laughs> I didn't even bring my shit. I couldn't live was, out there. Was there a lifeguard oh, that uh, saw you or we'll say oh, I, I, thought maybe... I mean I got back. I, I got out Wait, of the shit. I came up. Here's the, the thing. If you're ever stuck in a riptide, 
don't swim straight back. You have to angle yourself. Uh, yeah. So don't go at a straight line towards the beach. Angle yourself at like a 45 degree or something like that. I think it pulled back. me at an angle because when I looked up, my people that I was with were up and to the left. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Bro. So I got pulled like in an angle, I think. Mm-mm. Well, I've been Mm-mm. stuck in a riptides not not as bad as what you described uh, multiple times, and that's what I've done, and it's worked every time. I'm still here, yeah. so that's what I've been taught. And I, well, you're a goddamn genius, Rob. <laughs> yeah, that's facts. Right. Well, well, when you're young and you haven't been taught that, you get pretty scared when that happens to you. Yeah, that sounded frightening <laughs> just now. Jeez, man. Yeah, mine Good wasn't luck. as bad as as. We're Dick. gonna end up walking away with this whole episode with more fears than we can. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't even know I was supposed to be afraid of that, but now I am. <laughs> All right, Jim. Um, so. Oh, next keep one? going. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, we're enjoying this. Yes. And right. I do have a beach fear. I'm afraid of oh, sand yeah. during sex. In the beach. Nah, we've talked about that before. On yeah, episode. we have talked about that, but I'm still afraid of it. Fucking too green. Fucking, yeah. you're, you're raw. You're raw, dog. Yeah, anyway, go that's, ahead. that's fair. Yeah, that's the phrase for it. I can't wait till my kids yeah. hear these fucking podcasts. Like, <laughs> like, oh, dad, you're sick, God, dad. Why don't we talk oh, about that, God. dad? Yeah, okay. you're disgusting. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I could <laughs> I can talk about one of one of my biggest fears. Yes, bring on the fears. I want to hear the juice. Um I have a fear of car accidents. Um and I also have a fear of driving, but it's very situational. Okay. Obviously, obviously I drive. <laughs> I mean I drive, you know, I used to drive to work. Um I drive, you know, to the grocery store, I drive to my mom in Goldsboro, you know, et cetera. Um, but if it's raining or if it's dark, I have panic attacks. Um, if I don't know where I'm going, this was especially before GPS was a thing. Um, mm-hmm. if I get lost, if I get lost, I'll have a panic attack. Mm-hmm. Um, cause that's definitely happened. And I don't like driving in the car with a passenger with me, unless it's a short, a very short drive, the short drive, I'll probably do it. It's like an emergency. I'll do it. Um, but because I have done it in the past, um, but I really, really don't like it. Um, I get really extra nervous when someone's in the car with me because not only am I responsible for my life, but now I'm responsible for another person's life, um, which just gets my anxiety like really high. <laughs> um, is there, is, did something happen? Does that mean that's kind of like it almost feels like something would happen unless you don't want to talk about it? And that's well, fine. No, yeah. I can talk about it. It's not okay. When I was younger, like, have you killed? Have you killed people? In, no. While you're driving? Well, there was that no. one time I hit this <laughs> no. child playing in the road. Um, no. When I was younger, though, my mom would talk about like car accidents a lot and how dangerous cars were, and she would just like uh, go on and on and on. You know, she that's just the way she is. A little cuckoo. I think I um, think you have a fear of cars and driving for the same reason all of us have a fear of cars and driving is because Final Destination Two. Oh, and that did not help. <laughs> that did not help. The long trucks. They do yeah. not drive behind log trucks it anymore. Is. I still Vivas. hate that. I hate that every time. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Yes. Every time. Every time <laughs> any of us see a log truck, it's just like, yep. oh God. we're like, oh, uh, should have gone it's this way. Gonna happen. <laughs> I'm gonna change lanes right quick. Yep. Where are you going? Don't worry about it. It's like never gonna happen. You gotta happen. get away from that thing. Yeah, yeah, dude. There's only two lanes. Uh, just slow down. I'm about, about to make it three. I think I'm about that to make it three. Be in the shoulder. If a cop saw that, they'd be like, "It's okay. I watched the Final Destination too." I'll be it. like, "I get, get it. it. You get a pass. Cool. It's cool, bro." So, if I could go ahead and be honest for a second, I'm getting a fear of being around Jen's mom. <laughs> I feel like she's going to make me afraid of fucking everything. You should. Right. Yeah. Because um, I don't want to be, be afraid of everything. And yeah. it sounds like that's what happened to you. Let me, her, let me give you an like, example. Like Mama Love, she was a Dateline mom. She would yeah. watch Dateline oh, about everything sure. you're supposed to hear and sure. then just transfer 20, 20, it to her kids. Yeah. <laughs> mm. um, let me give you an example. This one's about planes. Um, so this is my first plane ride um, going to Arizona. Um, and I've never been on one before ever. 
Uh, so I didn't know what to expect or anything. I wasn't exactly afraid, but I was just like scared because I'd never been on one before. My mom was crying and she was crying, not because she was going to miss me. It didn't sound like and she was crying. <laughs> and she was like, oh, my God, you're going to die. She kept mm -hmm. saying stuff like, oh, my God, I'm was, so scared you're going to die. Was she talking into a microphone when she said it? No. Oh, she said, you're going to die. No. Over I don't know why I did that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if she was like announcing it. Like, this is her. She's going to die. She's holding she, it just back. Kept, she just kept saying that I was going to die. And I was like thinking to myself, thanks, mom. Love you. Thanks. <laughs> Love well, you. You fucking didn't. You fucking didn't. You no, showed her. No, I did yeah. not. And it actually mm. happened to be like amazing. And I enjoyed it immensely. Like, which is crazy because you've been on a plane a few times, right? No, this was my first time being on a plane. Was no, no, what I'm saying, incident. as of now, you've been on a plane a few times. Now I've been on a plane a couple times, yeah. Right, but and even <laughs> after your mother knows that you've been on a plane a few times. Oh, she would still for sure be afraid I was going to die. If I told her today that, oh, I'm going to, I don't know, Spain or something like that. And I think on, that's what makes the fear irrational. Even yeah. with the evidence, I'm still. So yeah. I, as a matter of fact, weird fact. I worked as an aerospace product manufacturing engineer at a company in Rocky Mount. Is there anything he well, hasn't done? He's wearing the shirt. <laughs> I, yeah. uh, he's a fucking engineer. Nice. Hilarious because it's true. Um, so when I when I did that job, well, this is the well, color of my soul. <laughs> the color of my soul. <laughs> Go ahead. We we would we would like repair parts in order to send them out. But there were times when I was like, I understand why some of these planes are fucked up. Some of the parts that you put on some of this stuff are just like, for instance, you had an old guy who's really good at fixing stuff. He's got some old equipment sitting in his garage and he makes the parts and he puts in for a government contract to just make those particular parts. And he might just make like one widget, but he gets this awesome contract and he's the only person that can make that part. So he just makes that part out of his fucking garage. Oh. Okay. So it could be somebody random, but as long as the measurements are right, cool. Like yeah. there were times when, but there were some times when I'd go back and I'd inspect something. I'd be like, no, this is fucked up. Why in the world would you put this in there? That's not going to work because that's going to cause this to be a problem. Yada, yada, so on and so forth. So, and so we're riding around on shit people are making I, in the garage. That scares me. I mean, sometimes, <laughs> yes, you are. That's real talk. Like, and something, oh, don't get me wrong. That quality. didn't help. That didn't but, help, dude. I wasn't afraid of things. Now <laughs> hey, I am. No, here we go. Wrong. I have a hypothesis. Please. How many people that work for Boeing are afraid to fly on a plane? Oh, yeah. Mm. Most of them. I guarantee no, I you. I would say most like, of them. No. Yeah. Maybe not, yeah. maybe not a fear, but they will not fly on a Boeing plane. Yeah. Because they know. Right. They know. But I, I, think, I think that. But that's not an irrational fear. That is, no. hey, logic that's states. Logical these fear. planes are shit. They're mm. not made up to par. And yeah, it's, it's a logical fear. It's not an logical illogical. fear. I, I just I just think that it doesn't matter what's built like everything doesn't have 100 percent quality control and everything can fail. And like if it, uh, maybe I'm just weird. I just kind of gave up being afraid because I was like, you know what? At some point, something's going to happen. Like, fuck it. Yeah. Whatever. If my if it's my time, it's not my time. I don't want to waste my time. The, worried about my time. Let's talk about that for a second, though. What is quality control? It's some guy that works 40 hours a week inspecting shit. Who's just like, you know what? Fuck my life. I'm sick of this shit. I've been doing this for fucking 40 years looking at the same shit. Fuck it. It's good enough. I mean, let's be real. Sometimes. I mean, I, Sometimes. I've been there. I've been there. I mean, I used to inspect fucking, uh, you know, safety packages for cars and shit. And I was just like, well, I didn't go. No, I didn't really speaking do that. of the just, whole Boeing situation, the federal inspector uh, that would be the person to inspect things was an actual. Boeing employee, yeah. so they would just not report anything. Yeah, yeah. well, you yeah, don't. Yeah. Well, you don't want your parts to be bad. But that's the problem. That's that's the problem with Boeing. <laughs> now you got to work overtime. No, they, they don't care. Overtime. We'll do that. I, mean, I, I want to go to my family barbecue this weekend. I don't expect more parts. Fuck. Yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. You were supposed no. to do twenty widgets. Well, this one's good. No, it's not. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to say before we continue um, the therapy session that this has become with Jen and her mom, let's go ahead and see if Rob has anything, because I, I feel like Jen's list is going to take us into next Thursday. So you have oh. a few more. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, yeah. It, it's uh, we've had a few ones that do share, uh, like the centipedes and millipedes, the too many mm-hmm. legs. Um, <laughs> and not like cute. I, I just want to add that there's too many. Ooh. Uh, it's just not, it's like, not cute. Mm-hmm. Kill them, kill them all. I have, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like social anxiety and things like that, yeah. which, but those aren't, I don't know, well, they might be irrational, but it's not like overbearing. No, it is. But either way, that's that's anxiety. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. social anxiety. It's and not that bad, any, like, but it really fucking is. Sometimes it's crippling. Yeah. <laughs> it can be. Yeah. Um I so, feel like I, I have that one too. <laughs> I need to Sometimes. figure out a little bit more specific what that would be. But for like a, another weird because I was gonna do the whole centipede thing. Uh, another oh, weird no. one, yeah. <laughs> another weird one for me is a uh, uh, tomophobia, which is a fear of surgery. Um, and I don't know if it's like because huh. I watched like Hostel or something like that, or people <laughs> yeah. just or like weird, oh, like yeah. body disfigurement or like malpractice mm-hmm. or things. Yeah. And it's not even like I'm afraid malpractice is going to happen. It's I don't like my body being invaded. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Like also uh, another weird obscure one is like I don't like my blood being taken. Mm -hmm. I don't either. I don't either. So like go to the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. Boom. I I have to look the other way. I do too. Clench your hand. You have a fear of blood? (laughs) No, not a fear. Because fear of blood is hemophobia. Yeah. Anyway, continue. Um, but like, just the needle in the arm, I'll have to look away. I can't yeah. look at it. I cannot. Right. Are you the uh, same way with tattoos as well? You can't look, but you're fine I'm with getting. I'm fine it. with tattoos. Oh, that is tattoos. like, yeah, like I have oh. a few. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not not like Jake there. Showing <laughs> yeah. Off. Uh, others are. Yeah, you can't see them from. Fucking covered, ladies. <laughs> Fucking yeah. covered. <laughs> but, but that's just the skin which i'm fine with uh mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. when you're taking something from inside my body and yeah like oh yeah things like that it's that's uh that really like bothers your, me and then, like your virginity from yeah you're you're, <laughs> you're <laughs> sucking out my virginity jake <laughs> i mean that's one way to look at it right <laughs> Let go of my virginity. <laughs> I feel like my virginity was fucked out once. I'm sorry, dude. So, so this one, this one is that one affects 25 percent of adults. What's that? What's that, John? It's co- it, well, it's it's two of them. It's it's an extreme fear of needles or blood, and the first one is trypanophobia, which is the fear of needles, and the other one is like hay hamophobia. Is that how you ham, pronounce it? Like going ham, like Hema? hard as a motherfucker. Maybe? Almost. It's like H A M E M. Oh, afraid of people I going ham. I don't know. I go ham. <laughs> Scary. It should be uh, like he, like hemoglobin, because hemoglobin yeah, is you'd think yeah. Yeah. blood. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's more like hemophobia is fear of blood. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, this one says it's it's like H A E M O phobia. It'd be A. Hey, 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 Maybe there's so many blood phobias that they couldn't say him anymore. And they're like, what are you going to do? We can't say him. Hey, hey, Differentiate it. But then what about if you're afraid of ham? Oh, and you're screwed. Oh, I mean, there is no phobia. They ran out of fucking things. So, afraid of ham, sorry. Uh, Another one super akin to that is uh, I don't like eye stuff. Are you afraid of eye stuff, or do you not like yeah. it? Because I feel like you keep saying you don't like and you hate, but that's not the same thing. That's, I don't know. It, it's not, I don't know. I, I used to have contacts. I left them in for too long, and I pulled, yeah. I had to get oh. them out, and it ripped off the top layer of skin on my eyeball. Huh? Uh, huh. I've well, had time. <laughs> uh, multiple eye infections through my life. Like, Jesus. I have really Take bad eyesight. Uh, oh my god! I, uh, what? My roommates and I found at one of my old houses. It was the dog house, Jake. The dog uh, house, we yeah. had that was a great uh, the, the one on yeah uh, on yeah. Greenville Boulevard. Uh, but we opened a I closet a... and realized there was black mold in there. 
And mm. just from opening it up and looking in it, I got an eye infection. Oh, shit. Damn. Uh, from like when you get shit black mold. And no up. one else had any issues. And I just, like, looked in oh. quickly. I wasn't the one that found it. I wasn't looking for it. Uh, I got a fear from Rob's old out. house. I have a phobia from Rob's old house, actually. <laughs> I have a fear of getting trapped by his fucking drunken roommate and needing to talk to him all night <laughs> about his fucking issues instead of having a good time. So... If you're if you're listening there, uh, guy, fucking fuck you. I missed out on a lot of good parties because you got fucking <laughs> issues or something. Anyway, continue. Rob. Uh, well, I speak. I think that's most of my issues. Uh, so like, but so is your is your eye thing like my genital thing? Like, I can't stand genital mutilation like in a movie. Like, it fucking oh, just makes it. me cringe. Yeah. Like, yeah. like uh, when they cut off the penis in uh, fucking Hostel or something. Like, yeah. Yeah, oh my yeah, god, yeah. like my body literally hurts like watching it. But I'm yeah. not yeah. really like a like, I'm not afraid of it happening to me. I start cringing and like go through like not like full actually, like I actually think that that, that is a, like a seizure, but like I'll get so a uncomfortable reaction, I can't though. I can't is sit it? still. See, it is, I think that's an thing. empathetic reaction. I think that's I'm actually a part of your empathy. I'm not afraid of it happening to me. Um right. But uh, let me ask, I, honestly, this is a really serious question. Is it a man thing, Jen? Like, if you see, like, feminine mutilation, does it bother you? Well, I mean, I'm serious. No, I, That's a good question. I, I still, no, I definitely still get bothered. <clears throat> Has anyone read um, American Psycho but the book and not the movie? No, mm -hmm. I haven't. Um, there is a very interesting scene in that book, and it 100% bothered me. And it has to do with female genitalia. Um, and that made me very uncomfortable reading that. Um, they did not put it in the movie. <laughs> I wonder um, why. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let me just let me just say that it has something to do with a rat, which I'm I'm cool with rats actually. Oh. I like oh. rodents of all types. Yeah, I don't mind rats, um, but I wonder yeah, I where you're going. That. But think about a rat and a woman. You said enough. You said a rat. What? <laughs> you said enough when you say a rat. As soon as you say a rat and you yeah. said female genitalia, I could my mind oh. the yep. creativity Let your just mind went. Go there. Your mind nope. go there. Yeah, Sean's mind just is like, all right, Mad Libs, here we go. There's uh, also blank this, blank that, yeah. blank that. There's I don't want to read that story. <laughs> there's also food involved, so there's what? for sure oh going to be God. some gnawing. Holy shit. Yeah, and I'm pretty, okay. I'm pretty sure the precision of a rat mm -hmm. eating anything is not that great that it's gonna keep him from eating something else that's around it. So, oh my god, no. No. did that there shit in the medieval that, uh... times? With the medieval <laughs> times, remember they put like the fucking rats in like the bucket or whatever and said like, yep, and what he did that in Sons of Anarchy what? too. Yeah, but it started oh, in the uh, yeah they, the dark they, ages. They put the rats oh, on yeah. you and then and then surround it with like a bucket and then or or something like that and then they put heat there so the rats would try to get away from the heat and then burrow inside it. Yeah. Yep. Just to get away yeah. from. It was yeah. like a tree. That is kind of similar. Yes, you'd be eaten to alive by rats. In that so book. Does, so does it does it like okay so with a man? <laughs> Confessed to being a witch. <laughs> so, so with a man, I feel like I get this tingly like. You know, like what the fuck is is that is that similar to for a woman? Like, yes. Okay. All right. Um, I mean, I've always wondered for, that. For hours, it's more like uh, we feel it inside. <laughs> you know, it's like a like. Well, for me, I can actually like feel it. Like I can imagine what it must oh, feel like for something Jesus to Christ. do that. Is that on your list of fears? It fucking should be. It, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> it is not, now. Actually. We're all going to leave here. Add it. here. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, yeah, after reading that book, for sure. That is the most memorable scene in that book, by the way. Yeah, I, I can imagine. I'm good. Jesus. <laughs> if you like hear, if anybody, anybody reads that book, they always mention that scene. Guys, <laughs> we need another moment of silence for that woman's vagina. <laughs> yeah. So I was going to mention this, too. You know what's really fucked up is the people who write these phobias, the yeah. names of these phobias. Yeah. I'll give you a perfect example. There is an actual fear of long words. <laughs> and it's and a it's long, a long word, word. And it's a and super long word. Fiction. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Who the yeah. fuck did that? They were like, oh, you have a fear of long words? Bet. This is your disease. Oh, <laughs> fuck you, asshole. What's the other one? Uh, I think a fear of a lisp makes you lisp. Oh, no, really? 
<laughs> I like bullshit you not. I yeah, I can't remember whatever the word is, it's fucked up. It's oh, like, come on, bro. So I looked up the fear of long words, and it's so long on my phone that it kind of stops. <laughs> it hyphens. It goes over. monstrous equipped a lot of phobia. Wow, that's a big fucking word. Yeah. I know I butchered that, but that is as close as I could get because it's it's very difficult to read. Is right? that the longest uh, word in history, like of all? I think uh, it is the longest I, word, actually. Is it really? I think before that it was supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Ah, uh, yeah. What about mm -hmm. supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? Well, that's not a real word. That's that's mm -hmm. not anything. It's it's, it's like it is now. Mary Poppins says it is. Mary Poppins, fucking, <laughs> you can't fucking argue with Mary Poppins. You're not <laughs> arguing with Mary Poppins, or, or yeah. she'll send it after you. Yeah, uh, Pennywise can. Yeah. <laughs> Parenthopho Parenthophobia is the fear of lists. Parenthophobia. Why? Parenthophobia. Why? Oh my God. <laughs> Why would you do that? Like, like <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody was making these definitions and was like, "They're cruel." Yeah. They had a sense of humor. Y'all love. <laughs> So while somebody's sitting there, like, I have a fear of big words, they say, oh, you must have blah, 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 phobia, and the person just shits themselves right there on the fucking couch. <laughs> yeah. a monstrous equipped to dollyophobia. Yeah. It's like, oh, I just I've... shit on your couch. Have you, speaking of which, have you ever seen, I don't know if this is a phobia, have you ever seen where if you make that, that hurling noise, it actually forces the other person to throw up? Oh, yeah. That's, like, sympathetic, yes. isn't it? But I think, but it's, like, for some people, it's, like, overreactive and i was yeah. joking with a friend and she was like no please stop i will actually throw up and i was like are you fucking <laughs> serious so then there's a guy on youtube that like he does that to his wife and records it regularly and she <laughs> he oh just God. goes and... <laughs> so this guy makes us watch his wife throw up all the fucking yes time. That's oh. Yes. Well, it's yeah. As a I matter of fact, you should probably up, apologize makes, to anybody who's watching this. It makes her. And I'm sure. Yeah. So she's like, "Oh, Billy, stop it!" I mean, right. I can make. I mean, I'll make his wife gag. Yeah. But anyway, the point is, is that fucking this is bullshit because I bet you he's got more fucking followers than me, and I'm not making people throw. But well, maybe I'm making people throw up. I don't know what they're doing out there. Or those five fucking viewers, they might be puking right now. I I need to add this in there. Before we get too far and I don't get a chance to, anatidophobia is the fear of ducks watching you. Ducks watching you? What the ducks. fuck? That's the fear of ducks watching you. Shouldn't it be geese? Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's fucking ducks. It's anatidophobia. Ducks, ducks are kind of assholes, but not as much of an asshole as a goose. Dude, I kicked a goose one asshole. time. I <laughs> yeah. kicked a fucking... Did I tell you about yeah. the time I kicked a fucking goose? Yeah. No. All, all goose should be kicked. No. Uh, there was this goose. This goose Damn. one time was fucking with me. He kept trying to bite at me. Whatever the fuck he does. Yeah. With his they're things. assholes. And he was fucking chasing me, and finally I was like, I, I'm a gangster, man. I'm not running from no fucking <laughs> goose. So I turned around, and I gave my oh. best kickball kick. I felt like I was in third fucking grade, and I wailed that shit. And that motherfucker went, home run. <laughs> and, and he was still alive. He was fine, by the way, guys. There was no geese hurt in the making of that story. He you know, probably has a broken rib. Or you know, a that goose. He came at me, and I fucking was like, I'm, I can't do it, dude. I'm a fucking gangster. Gangsters don't run from geese, bro. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to do it. You're not going to fucking get me to run around like a little bitch. There's people watching. There's <laughs> ducks watching. I'm afraid of these ducks <laughs> watching me. And they're watching you chase me the fuck around. And no, I'm not having it. So I kicked that motherfucker like I was in third grade fucking kickball. Oh, my track. God. <laughs> Yo, bro, that should be a t-shirt. Gangsters don't run from geese. They don't. The ducks are Shit. watching, bro. The ducks are <laughs> yeah. watching. <laughs> and that, that's the back. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. ducks are watching. Because the I ducks like are that. watching. Yeah. Like this is the the only people, the time. only people that would understand that joke is our four fucking viewers, though. But you that's know what, what I'm saying? Ran, that would be dope as shit. Yeah. But when they ran into each other, they'd be like, yo, you watch Psycho Pinion. <laughs> like, have Psycho Pinion <laughs> right the sleeve, you know what I'm saying? Gangsters don't run from geese, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> the ducks are watching Psycho Pinion. are watching. And it's like that's fucking hilarious. And then just put put the the whole fear of uh, long words right here for no fucking reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. You'll be like, what the fuck is that? You'll be like, well, let me tell you. 
Watch this show. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's that's the way it needs to be. That's so, funny as fuck, bro. Try Trypophobia, trypophobia, is the fear of clustered patterns of irregular holes. Ah, that's tryptophobia, yeah. and one of my yeah. good friends had that. No, Trip- I, 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 I don't say that one. Not me, though. I'm cool. Trypophobia. I'm cool with uh, He's that. always called it tryptophobia. Uh, yeah. like, fucking wrong. You look at Fuck little, like, uh, clusters of seed pods. Yeah. Or, that's weird. Uh, or uh, what are those shells that have the little holes in them? You know what I'm talking about? The little shell, like a dried up coral, coral reef or something. I yeah, don't know. a dried up piece yeah. of coral. Uh, would yeah, have, like, a lot little of holes. holes. Yeah. yeah. You, got, you got to give me your friend's address because I'm gonna send him a whole bunch of shit. Uh, like I, pieces I, of coral and. I send him a lot of like TikToks and reels and whatnot. I'm gonna yeah. send him pieces of coral and be like. <laughs> yeah. you know, I was at? trying to. Fuck. I was trying to spell that one. The tryptophobia one that you mentioned, and I landed on a different one called, uh, I think it's trick trichophobia, where it's, it's T R I C H. Is that where you're of tricks? An irrational and persistent fear of hair. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, oh. I'm gonna send Rob over there. Oh, they're triggering. I want to know a motherfucker like that. Sure. I, I have all the hair. I want to know a motherfucker <laughs> like that because I'm going to send Rob over there in the middle of the night to cuddle with their ass. And they're going to turn uh, around and see Rob man, and his fucking, they're going to see Rob's <laughs> cousin it's at, like cousin it ass there, fucking all just hair. I mean, d- look, Jen, I don't know why like, you laughing all that hair. Don't, yeah, don't try. Some. You too can have your very own hairy sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> <laughs> You'd make a good they, one, buddy. They wouldn't make like Bigfoot one. then. <laughs> I, I, oh, I would right. love to cuddle with Bigfoot. I bet you Bigfoot's a great cuddler. I'm just saying. I feel like he yeah, would. I feel like he's got these big, strong, furry arms, and he's probably like he's probably like being fucking hugged by a giant teddy bear, but like oh. with some like oomph, like so, like a good hug. I bet you that shit's great. Like is, is sensual is Sasquatch more than just a bear that went on a diet? <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, yeah, but he's like more human. Like, so it's like I feel yeah. like we could really get like I mean, an smaller. So he's just a so, so long legged bear. Bears can stand up on their on their hind legs, but you've seen the picture, like it's yeah. But being yeah. Bigfoot, I feel like we'd look into each other's eyes while we're cuddling and get an understanding, and we'd have a long, long life oh friendship. <laughs> I feel like we'd be friends forever. Like he'd come over on my birthday yeah. and have a drink with me. I mean, shit, most of my friends won't even do that. You have an opposite of a phobia. <laughs> yeah, sit around the campfire singing <laughs> some violent fam success. <laughs> Bigfoot, I know you're the one. Love all Bigfoot, I know you're the one. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Shit. I'd sing that song. And I'm camping, I strut my stuff, and I move strung out. I'm high as a kite, and I just might. Stop to check now. you out. Bigfoot, hug me. It's fantastic. I think I may have drank too much this this show, guys. Hey, I can still I've, see, it's like the appropriate I've amount of spicy drink. before. Um, yeah, that's pretty rare. So, uh, pretty pretty. Um, okay, so here's one that's interesting: is pluviophobia, which is the fear of weather associated with rain and storms. <laughs> Only I when wonder, driving. Only when driving for me. So okay. I wonder. I wonder though, is that like you're afraid of the weather before the storm? Because there's also lilasophobia, which is the fear of tornadoes and hurricanes. So are you like, if you have one but not the other, like are you afraid? Like you're like, fuck, the storm is coming, but then when it happens, you're like, okay. That's that's true. I don't know. Yeah. Could be the anxiety behind it. Yeah. Oh fuck, anxiety of the impending storm. Yeah. Yeah. The calm before the storm. Mm-hmm. The calm before the storm is actually what you're afraid of. That's fucked up. Whoa, that's fucking like deep. The anticipation, the anticipation of the And that's story. why it's an irrational. Not knowing. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. He's right, because that's why it's irrational. You're afraid yeah. of the calm that comes before a storm. But then when the storm the gets here, you're Amazing. like, right. <laughs> Wait, what? You're afraid of calm? So that's a whole different thing, bro. That goes back to the erratic shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So, uh, Megalophobia. 
I, I'm sure uh, there's some gentlemen out there that have probably dealt with this. That's the fear of large objects, like going into your anus. Oh, gosh. No, no, no it's not. That's that not the thing. doesn't mention your anus. <laughs> it doesn't mention it doesn't mention your anus, but it oh. is the fear of large objects. Um, here's one: lachiophobia, the fear of childbirth. Who the fuck is not afraid of childbirth? <laughs> that shit is terrifying. Yeah, have you ever seen up. a baby? Have you ever seen a baby yeah. being born? Yes. Yeah. That is fucking. Yeah. That is that, that is, is a that's, horror film. That's that why film. you hear about husbands yeah. fainting in the delivery room. Yeah. It's a yeah. horror film. It's a fucking it horror film. It is. I'll be honest life. with you. Yeah. It's like it, it's weird, and it, it, and and this is another way that God fucks with you. All right, let me explain this. Yeah. So, watching a child being born is a fucking horror film. It's fucking yep. horrible. It's it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. But then holding your baby is one of the most greatest moments mm -hmm. of your life. So it's right. like oh, okay. God's like, you know what? And then he's like, here you go. Yeah. Right. And that's why we used to smoke cigars in the fucking waiting room. But fuck that. <laughs> it's 2024. You need to watch that shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Anyway, I, I'm going. I'm I'm in a different direction here. Um. Hmm. So we got the fear of needles, fear fear of clowns. That's a pretty common. Ah, knew that was going to come up. That's yeah. on my list. I was waiting for that one. Actually, are you yeah. afraid of? Are you wait? You're down there to me right now, but you're probably over there. Um, are Ooh. you afraid of clowns? Jen, Wait, are you who? pointing to Rob? Oh, or I'm, well, to me right now, it's there. But when I edit this, she's probably going to be there. Yep. I'm, I'm there on my screen. On your, you're, you're here. Right. Yeah. On my screen, We're playing she, Hollywood Square here. here. Everything's going to switch up in the yeah. final. Yeah. 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 Final this, what we're looking at right now doesn't matter. But right now, exactly. Jen, are you afraid of plants? I am, but it's not like okay. So it's it's kind of hard to explain. It's like if I see one, let, let's see, let's say that I go to the fair or whatever and I see one, I'm not going to go, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go like running, I'm not going to scream, I'm not going to running, this doesn't bother me. I mean, um, I like it, I'm just doing it for fun at this point, I'm going to bother yeah. you Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> so, so the, it's not like I'm like that afraid of them, it's more like situational. Um, now, if I woke up and saw a clown standing over me, like right when I wake up, for sure, I'm going to scream. I'm fairly really certain if any one of us woke up, him. this something was standing over us. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point. Situationally, but, but that's like being like a, a clown. <laughs> yeah, but that's like being like, I'm situationally afraid of sharks. Like if I had one chasing <laughs> me in the middle of the ocean, that'd be pretty frightening. Like, yeah, fucking of yeah. course it would. Everyone would well, be afraid of that, yeah, Jen, that be reasonable here. Okay. Well, when I was <laughs> when I was little, I was most afraid of one being in my window. Like I never opened my window. I always had it taped shut. Um, like my uh, curtains taped like over my window. Um, because okay. for some reason I had a thought. Yeah. Um, some reason I had a thought that that Pennywise especially um was mm. looking at me through my window. Um, I never had like a fear of the dark or anything like that. It was just my window and especially at night. Um, and I always like pictured him looking at me through the window. Um, and that's like one of the earliest memories I have of being afraid of clowns. That and poltergeist. That kind of scared me too. that clown and poltergeist um, being under my bed, you know. What about being um, afraid of Uncle Ray from Scary Movie? I think only the clown doll has a fear of him. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I know what you're talking about. That was so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna he was gonna bang that clown. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. he yeah. was going to, and then he did. Now let me yeah. now let me ask you guys: If you guys came across like a really hot clown with charisma, would you have sex with it? Ah, um, let me let me just clarify something real quick with my fear of clowns. I'm only <laughs> I'm only scared of male ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, would you wait? So you'd mess around with a female clown, like if she was a hot female clown, would you get that? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> that was the best moment of this show. I'm using that for advertising. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have seen some where I was like, oh yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah. I would. Yeah. This show is great. I don't know why everybody's not get watching that clown this shit. Ussie. 
<laughs> this is the best fucking show on earth. Oh, Where the fuck else do you get that? So Rob, yeah. you're banging a hot clown. It you only is clown, her boobs honk when I when I honk, when I honk oh, yeah. them. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. It would be the best moment ever. I would definitely. Brian's gonna find out there snatches a finger trap, then you're stuck. Yeah, but <laughs> that might not be so bad for a little while. Oh. A little while, so you were, you can't pull out for real. Yeah, but I mean, we're, something's bound to happen eventually, right? I mean, it has to. It's a clown. You don't know what the hell's yeah. underneath the mask. I think the I think the, yeah. the legitimate fear of the clown is you don't know what's under the mask. Yeah, it is. The, That's what we make up. We've talked You're about. We, we, we had yeah. two episodes yeah. about clowns. You should yeah. go back and watch the episodes on Psychopenia about clowns. I fully intend to. It was we, a pretty good episode. That. That was a great episode, especially the clowning around. I don't remember why, but people told me that shit was funny. Anyway, um, so we are hitting like our hour, but you know what? Let's take this a little bit further because it's just too much fun right now. Um, because taking it further is exactly what we do. Yeah, but then, but then everybody's like, you know what? I'm not watching a fucking hour and a half. And they didn't even get to this part, and Jen just admitted she would bang a fucking hot female clown. I don't know who the fuck yeah. wouldn't want to hear that. Yeah. that is, I, would, I would necessarily that is, hear that. That's, like, that's kind of weird. To me, honestly, that's a little bit of like weird spank bank material for a psycho out there. You know, but I'm, I mean, I'm telling you, it, it's, it, once, once you get into the right ebb and flow with the right group of people and the, the necessary normal maniacs that are supposed to listen to the show, it'll take off. Because think about it. Those, there's some podcasts that are like four fucking hours. And then they, they're not talking about shit. At least ours makes some sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Right. Give it yeah. time. I mean, we could probably talk <laughs> about clown pussy for four hours. I'm not <laughs> sure. I guarantee you. I, something about the way you say clown like, pussy makes me hard. I'm just saying. I pictured it rainbow. <laughs> rainbow? Oh, my God. Yeah. Rainbow. Have you seen like there's actually wig. a porn category of, of, like, women getting banged by this one particular clown? What? what? Is that a porn? <laughs> That's a porn category. That's really? not a category. Really? That's just a porn star. <laughs> uh, who dresses like a clown, like John Wayne Gacy? He probably bangs some dude. Dressing. Honestly, yeah, that know. might be kind of crazy, a though. big thing for a lot of people. It's a guy or a girl clown in this, in this porn. There's it's a, a guy six. clown. So, Jen, not, not for you. Not for me. Hey, I just yeah. met you. And this is crazy. Welcome <laughs> to my basement. I'm John Wayne Gacy. Oh, shit. No oh, shit. Uh, and that's going to be stuck in my head all night long. Thank you. All night long. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking great. That's fucking great. Um, I'm, I'm looking for the clown the clown uh, porn category now. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you know in the meantime, though, not to change the subject or anything, but I'm experiencing some. I'm experiencing. What? That's a feel you. That's a. Yeah. No, feels, love of clowns. Different. That's different. Oh, what? Okay. What's it called? Uh, oh, I was saying chlorophilia because it's love instead of philia is love, mm. phobia is fear. So. Oh, dude, you just inspired me. We're going to have a show about paraphilias now because I just remembered we got to <laughs> talk about that sometime. Um, but anyway, um, no, so I'm actually experiencing some thermophobia right now. <laughs> you know what thermophobia is? Fear of no. the heat. <laughs> uh, it's definitely the fear of hot weather because fucking North Carolina sucks. Let me just go ahead and say that. Mm. I'm just like sitting here baking in my fucking studio and drinking is, hasn't helped surprisingly. But I'm out of uh, Bacardi, so we're moving on to the 99 Turmo. Well, uh-huh. if you're if you're feeling a little bit hot, uh, if someone is hotter than you, then you are cooler than them. Thermodynamics. <laughs> Shit, Rob, so we're all cooler so than sense. you are, yeah. man. So what I need to do is I need to sit here and think about motherfuckers that are suffering more than me, and I will feel good. <laughs> wow, that is deep, and it's actually kind of working. I'm just kind of basing it off of the law of thermodynamics. <laughs> Speaking with Sean, how's the fucking weather in Atlanta? Not that I'm going to waste uh, much time what? on the it's, show about it's, the weather. But... It's, it's weird, because it's like, it's nice. Like, it's a That's nice cool. warm no, because oh. usually it's like sweltering hot, and then we haven't gotten to that part yet. It's getting there. I think that's so around I'm, like July, I'm afraid August. Afraid of the upcoming heat. <laughs> I, I'm not afraid of the impending heat, not at all. I've heard so many people refer to it as Hot Lana. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Welcome to Hot Lana. 
<laughs> I think it's because they're from cold weather areas, but my family's Caribbean, so like this is perfect. I mean, I'll be in the building at the manufacturing plant, and everybody's like, oh my God, it's so hot. I'm like, it's 80 degrees. Shut the fuck up. It's not that hot. I've been in plants that were hotter than this. Yeah, but dude, I've got <laughs> African roots, and I'm fucking dying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, so yeah. Probably the only one that got that. Like, what the fuck? I, I definitely right, this, is getting, this is getting weird. I got to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I, I believe bet you it. though. I, I bet you though. I am like 0.5 percent African or something. Like I think that's like the thing is we're all mixed up now. Like I'm pretty sure I'm Native American too, so I could probably go to college for free. Most likely, but yeah. see, here's the so here's the weird thing about when we think about stuff like that. Like I've I've had this argument with people before. You say Africa, but and people instantly think they have to be black, and I'm like, Shalice Theron isn't black. South South African is mostly white, correct? That's the, it's that's mostly the, white, but I'm sure that there's a white person that was born somewhere in northern Africa. Like, it's a giant fucking no, continent. I looked it Some up. I looked it up. It's not true. Africa. It's not true? Like Nowhere? It's not true. No, that, that's <laughs> fake news, dude. Right I don't know, Sean. I think, I think, Sean, I think if you and I, I think if you and I had our own show, it'd go to fucked up areas, dude. <laughs> it would definitely go to fucked up areas. I'm positive. We got we got these other guys on here looking at us like are you guys really fucking talking about this? <laughs> anyway, oh, why, why aren't you speaking in Afrikaans? Talking about <laughs> South Africa. You know what was disappointing? That weird mix for... of like Dutch, English, and whatever uh, other languages. I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that, that up, Rob, language. because now that we're talking about Africa, I want to say how disappointed I am in Diane Bird because I fucking love their music. And they're fucking nuts, but like to find out that they were like shit bags, that really like hurt my feelings. I just want to say yeah, that. Yeah, same. Because like I really like their music. Like they're they came out with some shit like I've never heard before, and I was like so fucking excited. I think actually, Rob, you introduced me to them. I think I probably did. I and and they're probably so good. the person that introduced but, them to most people. But they're like, I mean, you should probably apologize to everybody now because obviously they're canceled, so I can't listen to them anymore. It's all your so, fault, Rob. Yeah, so now I'm like sitting here like another artist I can't listen to because they're fucking canceled. So I just are, now I've just been randomly typing in fear of random shit that we're saying, and I typed in fear of Africa. Oh shit, really? <laughs> Is that a thing? It's actually a fucking thing, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> and and not coincidentally, it's literally called Afrophobia. Afrophobia. I would think that'd be a fear of Afro. Of Afro. Of large yeah. hair. <laughs> Right, yeah. not. It's anti-African sentiment or Afro skepticism. Can I just tell you though, honestly, if I could grow an Afro, I fucking would. Like I'm, I think the, I think an Afro is a fucking sweet look. Call me crazy, but I love, like I love a fucking nice thick Afro. Like I just want to like get in there. Like I wish I could grow an Afro. I'd sit there and just fucking play with my hair. I okay, so dig it. right before I cut all my hair off, that's I had an Afro like. Dude, I would have been like up in there. I would have been giving you like fucking. No. I would have been giving you massages and shit. Of course, to touch it, your hair. There was, there was a spot missing here, and there's a spot missing here, but it, the rest of it was all. It was it's like George Jefferson's head exploded. Kind of, <laughs> <laughs> George Jefferson. <laughs> <Jeff. laughs> it is shit off, and this actually worked better. Uh, somebody actually for Juneteenth actually put up a picture of me from Imperium talking about happy Juneteenth. I was like, fuck y'all. And my son sent it to me. I was like, you dick. That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, no, seriously though, I'd have an Afro. I'm just saying. Anyway, that's enough with all that. I don't know if I'm being weird at this point, but I'm, I'm going to say that. Anyway, so. You probably could if you stopped cutting your hair. Dude, I can't, man. I've got like, I've got, dude, my hair is like curly-ish when it gets long, but then it like goes straight down when it gets to a certain point. <laughs> And I don't know what to do with it. Like, <laughs> I mean, and, and, just, and I'm not even bullshitting you. Is there a way to make like white hair? Like, like, can I like pick it and make it fucking big? Like, because yeah, I mean, perm. I would, you'd have to ask Rachel Dolls all. Yeah. Perm. Do you know what? Perms fucking stink. When I was growing up, my yeah, mom used to get perms, and it fucking like the smell was fucking disgusting. Like, so you can have a stinky fro. I don't yeah. want a stinky. If you're not a nice afraid of it. No, I want, like, I, want, I want my fro to smell like tea tree oil or something. Like, I want it to smell like something yeah, really yeah. fucking, like, really good is what I want. Um, but, I mean, I, no, fucking perms are terrible. Yeah, I've had a perm a long time ago when my aunt was in, like, cosmetology school. She gave me one. 
Oh, Jesus. And it was horrible. Why I does hated it smell it, so fucking bad? It took forever for it to like just grow out. <laughs> Why does it smell so bad? Uh, the chemicals that they use. Oh my God, it's fucking. I don't gross. know. I don't know if they're as strong as they were back in the in the eighties and nineties, but. Oh um, shit! You got a perm in the eighties? You fit right in. <laughs> it was like late. It was like late eighties, I think. Late eighties, maybe early nineties. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> Do you have a picture? Because it pictures are didn't happen. I freaking oh, hate that picture so much. So um, I, I, need have, her I, have I need a picture. Somewhere. I need a picture yeah. of Jen in a perm. We all need a picture yeah. of Jen in a perm. It's in the yeah, perm. We're gonna do a whole <laughs> episode about Jen no. with a perm. Oh no. Look, I hate the that fear of so feeling much. bad is bro bro bromidrophobia. What what, what is That's it? Fear what? Of uh, smelling bad. Bromidrophobia. Oh. I don't ever fear smelling bad. I kind of don't care if I smell bad. It, that's kind of gross for other people. Um, the other day, and I mean, I'm a dude, so like sometimes I crop dust and I think it's hilarious. Like, let's be honest, <laughs> we're all like five year old when it comes to farting. Like, dudes, dudes forever are kids when it comes to farting. Who the fuck hasn't farted and been like, <laughs> they got to smell that <laughs> shit, you know? But I don't Me understand and- why like women will be like, no, I can't fart in front of him. If you fart in front of him, he's in love. I mean, I don't know if I'd say I'm in love, but uh, it depends on how bad she stinks. If she stinks more than you, then yeah, probably not. No, I feel like people on this show by now know about him, but our friend Adam, our late deceased friend Adam, my best friend in the fucking world, him and I used to work together at uh, Target back in the day, and we used to work in the same aisle, and we used to have a blast blowing up the end of the aisle while the other one was in there and knowing that they had to walk through it. Man, was like the funniest shit in the world to us. Oh because, man, I had my mouth <laughs> open. Oh, yeah. oh that, that motherfucker one time, I'm not even kidding you. One time he farted in my car and it was so bad. We rolled the windows down. We were going to the mall. I was taking him there to get a watch. I remember this. And we rolled the windows down for like fucking three miles. And fucking <laughs> when, when we stopped, I rolled the windows up. We went to the mall. We came back out. I sat in the car. It still smelled like he just fucking that's, did it. That's because all he ate was meat. Yeah. Oh the yeah. Meat part, dude. It's meat. like fucking. <laughs> that is air blowing through like six tons of fucking rotten meat in his colon. Is what that oh is. my god. <laughs> oh. Um, anyway, that's I, great, but I got one that's grosser. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Bring yeah, it on. I don't. Right. I don't well, know if I should go there. Yeah, go there. Too late. The train we left the about, station. Yeah. You were talking about women and farting, and I was just okay. thinking to myself. <laughs> Um, you guys don't know a bad fart smell unless you've done a blood fart. Oh, oh yeah. She brought. No, she's right. She's right. I went there. She's right. She went there. She's right. She's right. Right. A oh period fart is is absolutely <laughs> disgusting. It is. Wow. It is the worst. It is the worst shot of copper pennies you will ever yeah. smell in your life. It's bad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> What the, yeah. what have we become? What has this show become? I got Sean we're on here for about two the episodes. Fear of copper piece. I got Sean on here for two episodes and all of a sudden we're the biggest bunch of degenerates <laughs> this side of the fucking Mississippi or whatever the fuck they say. Sorry. Jesus, Sean, whatever. Sean, who needs bad. who needs smelling salts to shock your system back in the normal seat? Sean is a bad I think it's Sean. Oh, Sean's a bad dang. fucking influence. Sean is a Oopsie. bad influence on this show. I'll take it. Whatever. That means, that's that means means, after this age, I don't give a shit no more. <laughs> after so that means that I have to have Sean on every fucking time anybody's missing because it's too good. Too good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Hell well, yeah. we didn't talk. We didn't talk about movies at all, and we barely talked about phobias. But um, do you guys want to do a recommendation? I mean, is it, is it even does it even matter at this? Point? Is there movies? Mm. I don't. I, I think we've just been talking about fears so much. We don't. I don't have anything lined up. Yeah. Uh, you want to recommend a fear? <laughs> Something, maybe Jen's mom should come on and tell us what we should be afraid of. <laughs> yeah. She so can recommend some fears this. for us. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a lot of fun. We'll all fucking just walk away from here and be fucking. Uh, I mean, the know. only the only <laughs> fear I would recommend is the hippopotamonstrosequiptodaliophobia. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Which I still can't pronounce it right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of what you just said. I just a little. So I think I'm getting it. 
Oh, um, that's weird. There is one. Jesus, there is literally a fear for everything. Cin- cinematophobia. Cinematophobia. Cinematophobia? Cinematophobia or cinephobia is a fear that may arise from plot lines. What the plot fuck? Holy lines? fuck. Well, the plot line <laughs> here just thickened. That would like be a really movie. It's handbook. my evil plot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> wow. That's that's crazy, bro. It's wild. There's so much. Is there's there, so much gold in this. So. Wait, wait, wait. Is there a fear of air? Oh wait, yes, thing? I think there I was. Mean, yes. There's a fear of water. I know hy- hydrophobia is one of them. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, so, how yeah. can you not be afraid all of the time if you have a fear of air because it's around you all the um, time? It's called aerophobia, which is usually <laughs> a fear of flying or air travel. <laughs> Or uh, nemophobia, which is a fear of strong winds. Or oh, the happening. Oh. Yeah. Maybe. But they or developed that phobia maybe. through the movie because nobody was really afraid of the breeze until the breeze came. Until <laughs> after the movie. And then everyone was like, wait, so you mean to tell me we're afraid of the wind? Yeah, fuck okay. you. And then COVID happened. Oh man. Nice oh, man. was on to something. Yep. Hey, didn't I have a fear a of prophet. Cocaine, uh, Reading the prophecy on the back of a cereal box. <laughs> <laughs> we had a fear of mirrors. Fear it all fear. along. Oh dude, decidophobia is the fear of making decisions. <laughs> decidophobia? Decidophobia. How do you even exist with that? <laughs> no idea. I don't know. What do you want to eat tonight? Like you, you literally have to decide everything. What am I gonna eat today? Oh my god! Ah, they don't eat; they die. <laughs> um, there's fear of bathing, fear of mirrors, fear of hair, fear of string, fear of long words. Rob went over that. The fear of belly buttons, fear of vegetables, fear of closely packed holes. Oh, fear of closely. <laughs> oh, I could go on about Crazy. that, but I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> um, fear of balloons. Globophobia is the fear of balloons. Wow. Nobophobia is the fear of being without your phone. <laughs> what? Which what is it? I have that now. <laughs> it, it, a nobophobia. You can't be without your phone. Okay, so wait, that's gotta be a new one then. It is a new one because yeah, back in the day, true. back in eighteen hundred and twenty, people weren't afraid of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I remember watching like a Dr. Phil episode of weird fears, and this lady was afraid of pickles. So they brought out <laughs> this jar of pickles. What the oh, fuck? And she just lost her absolute mind, ran back to the confronted her. following her. They confronted her with the pickles. No! Oh my God. I love yeah. pickles. That's just, that's just pickles are fucking great. Pickles are great. You know what else Sorry. is great? It's pickleback shots. We should have had one of those. Thanks. It's great yeah. shit. Um, yeah, fucking, there's fears of everything, and this will probably be a two-parter because I didn't even get to go over half of my material. But I definitely is there, is there a fear of podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great fucking question. Is go on, get on it, man. Because that's what I'm going to name this one. Oh. <laughs> I, I find it hard to believe that there is. Oh, I don't, I don't doubt it at all. There's a fear of fucking everything, Jen. I mean... People are definitely afraid of all fucking things. I think a, a fear of podcasts would be called psycho opinion. Oh. <laughs> that should be our new motto: psycho opinion, the fear of podcasts. <laughs> right? You're afraid of podcasts? <laughs> Fuck you, psycho opinion. We should, we should make up yeah. one. Yeah, we'll make up a word because there probably isn't one in there. I mean, I made up the word psycho opinion, and here we are. Yeah. So, so it it doesn't it doesn't say specifically podcast, but it took me down a wicked rabbit hole. Remember that one we we're talking about where you you you're watched by like ducks. There's apparently one called scopophobia, where you have a fear of being seen. At all. <laughs> Is that in in like conjunction with uh, agoraphobia? So you're like always in your house. So no uh, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. So, so wait a second. You're afraid of being seen by anyone, anywhere, anytime? Or are you afraid of being seen on camera? Or are you afraid of being seen like you don't As want to like, know the real you? Like, is it yeah, you? Like, like, is it like, I don't want you to know the real me. 
I think it's a little bit of both. It says, well, it starts by saying a fear of being perceived mm-hmm. or fear of being seen. So I think, yeah, it has a, it's a social anxiety. So like you, you're afraid that people see you. I don't like being stereotyped. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's people like people me. want to be seen and then other people just don't want to be seen well, well see people see me and they're like look at that guy like he that. is such an intelligent looking good looking guy who must know everything and he's so wise and strong and handsome and i don't like that i don't like being you know i know that all those things are true but i don't like being stereotyped like that you don't, you don't like that no i don't like it I want to yeah. know. I want people to feel like I'm vulnerable, you know, because sometimes I am. But do you have an an irrational fear of it? No, not at all. <laughs> no, there we go. No, no, not even a little bit. I'm totally cool with it. Totally fine. All right. Well, anyway, I don't know if we've gone too far, but maybe mm-hmm. as always. So I'm gonna, unless anybody has anything now, I'm gonna go ahead and come up with a uh, cool quote here out of nowhere. Fantastic. Um, you guys have that long. If you have anything else you'd like to say? Uh, oh shit, my bad. I don't know. Uh, mm-hmm. While you're looking up a quote, oh. I'll actually I'll give a I'll give a story real quick. Give me a I story. Have a while friend I'm who? It, oh, he has a have, friend, guys. It's not. Does him. anyone have that uh, that feeling you get when you like kind of a nostalgia feeling? You hear a good piece of music, and it's like this wave of euphoria comes over you. Mm-hmm. I have a friend who's afraid of that. <gasps> no That's way. That's so like, the opposite of that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, I know, right? I love it. Uh, I love the sound and of. the way he explains it is like uh, that, like bad dream where you're in front of everyone and you're naked and they're all laughing at you. It's like uh, an you. embarrassment <laughs> moment almost. It's they're like I shouldn't be doing this, and like I. I, it, it feels like you should be a sociopath or something like that, mm-hmm. but like it doesn't make sense to anyone he's ever told it to. But it's just like a weird happenstance of like this unique fear. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like I said, it's kind of like a, a, a weird embarrassment or uh, just being singled out, and it's just, it's a weird psychosomatic response in his brain. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, a fear of listening to beloved music, maybe. Uh, that's a bad one. You know what's yeah. fucking weird is that, and I'm sorry I'm not trying to, like, move, but you brought it up. I'm going to move it to the left a step or two. I actually had a dream recently. Okay, so we've all had the dream where you show up somewhere naked, right? And you're, like, freaked out, right? We've all had that. That's a pretty common dream, I think. Or, like, we're, oh, I've had that. Everybody's mm-hmm. fucking had that. Jen, have you ever been naked somewhere in your dream? Oh, you have. In, but just in not. a good way. <laughs> <laughs> I was naked. I wasn't embarrassed or anything. Okay, well, I haven't had that. But the last one I had, I was totally cool with it. Like, I feel like I was supposed to be afraid, but I wasn't. And I just fucking, like, sat down and was like, yeah, I don't have any pants on. And I didn't give a fuck. And I don't know if that's, like, I don't, I, I'm not sure if that's, like, a weird, like, I grew up or something, or if I like matured or something, but it's like I just kind of didn't give a fuck. Like I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, like yeah, that's my penis. Yeah, saw it, and I don't saw it. I'm okay with it. Yeah, you stare all day, you're gonna suck it. You know that kind of thing. Um, didn't bother me at all. I had two dreams that like defined how I dream now. It's the the first one. I was remember I was I was underwater, and I could have pants on. I did have pants on. I had the whole suit on. I had the scuba diving gear and everything. And I look up and like the wa- the the top of the water was like maybe about 10 feet above me. But I'm walking on something, but it didn't feel like like the bottom of the ocean. It was very smooth. So I'm walking and I kept walking and I turned around and I caught out of the corner of my eye. There was a structure behind me like it was just a tall cylindric, like a tall structure that stuck out of the water. And I was like, that's weird. And I started like an idiot. I turned around. And I started walking backwards while still looking at the structure. And then all of a sudden, I slipped off of whatever I was walking on. So then I pushed away from the edge because I'm in the water. And as I pushed away, I saw the eyes. 
So I, I was walking on the back of a giant fucking building sized shark. Whoa. <laughs> so as, and then, I, then it dawns on me if when I pushed away and I saw the eyes, its eyes looked at me. And then I realized, oh, fuck, it's going to open its mouth. And mm. if it opens its mouth, flow determines it's going to inhale me, essentially. So that's what happened. It ended up opening its mouth. That was crazy. That I don't know. That sounds crazy. That me? No, that's me. Sorry. Right. Oh. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I just had a fear of weird sounds. <laughs> yeah. What? That is a crazy now. dream, dude. Yeah, and it 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 messed with me because I was like, because at that point, like to Jake's point, I just kind of gave up because I was like, there ain't shit I can do at this point. Like, what am I going <laughs> to do? Come away from a building sized shark? You can't do shit. <laughs> it's over. You can't do a fucking thing. You need to accept it. But then I, but here's what I thought to myself: maybe it's not over because if it opens its mouth, its teeth. I just avoid its teeth because it's I'm I'm like popcorn kernel to this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> what about what about like Pinocchio where they were inside the whale? Mm-hmm. That could have been you. And you could have worked right. your way out. Yeah, I could just work my <laughs> way out. I was like, ah. You should work you know. your way out. Okay, and then the other fine. one I was in a gymnasium and zombies were coming. And I think <laughs> I, I got so angry that I was scared. I said Fuck it. I got to this point of anger where I was like, fuck it. So then I started, you know how they got those row of, of folding chairs? Oh, yeah. On, on like a structure for like when you have it, just uh, throwing chairs. So I just started grabbing chairs. No, and I took the end of it with the, where the feet were and just started jamming them in the eye. And then there was oh, a shit. pile of bodies at the door. So that's when I, <laughs> I just kept doing that. And everybody was behind me. I was like, fuck y'all. I'll do this shit myself. So I just said, bring me more goddamn chairs. And that's, I kept going at <laughs> They're just bringing them chairs. Did the, did like, the bodies, like, did the bodies hit the floor? <laughs> did the bodies yes, hit the, the floor? <laughs> and yes, they did. Let the the problem the reminded of, that sounds like some sweet, like, WWE shit, actually. Yeah. I know, right? Chairs. I, I dig it. All, All right. right. With that being said, mm-hmm. I found my quote, and I think we're there, because we're at an hour and a half, and Jesus, nobody's listening by now. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to go with, yes, I'm sick, officer. Sick from the disease eating away at my inside. Sick of people who don't appreciate their blessings. Sick of those who scoff the suffering of others. I'm sick of it all. I feel like that's from that movie. With uh... You've been listening to Psychopinion. <gasps> if it's anything horror... We're talking about it. <laughs>